hello friends welcome to another davinci resolve tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to demonstrate how to manage your files in davinci resolve so to manage your files and all projects first we have to go to the project manager menu here you have to click in this home icon and then and then all the files appears here so the first thing is that how we create a new project so as you can see here there's a menu called new project you just can click here to create a new project or you can bring your cursor here and right click and then you get this menu click new project name whatever you want And there you go so the new project has been created so if you go back here this is our project right so now we know how to create a project uh, in the file manager now let's say we have many projects and we need to organize them we need to put them in a folder so in that case how we create a folder as you can see I have a couple of folders here already uh, if you want to create a new folder just go here again Take the mouse right here don't click on top of them and then right click here you get the option of creating new folder name it as you want okay so here we have got the new folder so now let's say I want to take some of my existing projects to this folder how we do it so the process is very simple you simply drag and drop the project in the folder so that's how we create a new project and folder now let's say I want to import a project how we do it similarly you right click here and then import project so here I already have a project that I exported. Now I'm importing this one. So the project has been imported. This is the project, right? Now let's say I want to export this project. How we do it? Right click on this project and then export project and choose the location wherever you want to export it click save the project has been exported another thing that is similar to export but i think it's also useful for you to know is that if you right click here in this or any file that you have in the project manager um, if you go with like it's called export project archive then it is actually exporting everything it's not just expo exporting uh, just a file it's just exporting all the media audios and everything you have together the whole package and now you can choose do you want media files render catches and everything else then then just check on everything and then you also can choose the file uh, location where it is going to be saved uh, when you are happy click OK so everything has been archived now okay so now how we restore the project to do that you just right click and then restore project archive here you choose the file and then open since it's already there so I just rename the file to So as you can see here, we have um, the project that we have archived in our local computer. So by doing so, basically we are taking away the project from here to our local computer, and then we can take it back here for editing in the future so that we don't have to occupy all this spaces here. So that is actually the main goal of this um, project archive, I think. Right, so now, by default all the projects actually saves to your local database i mean local computer if you right click here then reveal in finder 
So it shows where exactly the resolved disk, disk database if you want to check. Um, if you don't have heavy projects, I, I recommend that you go with the local database. However, if you need to um, save the project to any external drives or any other locations, you can do so by, as you can see, I have another database that is connected with my external drive. If you want to create something like that, then add project library, click on this, and then you name the file browse and you can choose wherever you want to you can if you have external drive already connected with your computer you will you will you will find it here and then you just choose it and then open it might be a little tricky sometimes uh, saving the projects in external drive um, if you're not sure if you still um, find it difficult to figure it out then I have a separate video on this please consider watching so friends, this is how you manage your files in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.